Hello guys, today I am going to discuss about the topic data discovery that is uh, the work, the way, how the people's minds work. So let's go into the topic uh, without any delay here. So those who are going to watch uh, this video for the first time, uh, please like, share and subscribe my channel today guys. And uh, sorry. See, uh, what is the name data discovery? Why we got this particular name means? Uh, see, nowadays uh, there is a lot of uh, buzzwords are there like uh, data discovery, data exploration, like uh, business intelligence. A lot of uh, a few words are completely coming uh, in a very uh, uh, increased manner here. Why we are going to use this word that is how we are going to describe the new way of uh, business intelligence means it will help and it will um, enables the users uh, to explore the data. See nowadays the data we are going to generate uh, uh, lots of varieties of the data. We, we are going to explore the data. We are going to discover the insights of the data here. Uh, and uh, that is also in the more dynamic and uh, the intuitive way in the in a very dynamic manner we are going to discover uh, what is happening inside that particular data uh, how means that is a predefined queries i am going to give some predefined queries and accordingly i am going to drill down my data in the form of some dashboards so that's how my data i am going to use like this Suppose if I am having my data in the form of some excel sheet with a lot many billions of rows and columns are there. But still if I am going to discover what are the insights of the data, where I am getting the high sales, where I am getting the low sales, where I am getting the highest profits, which product is purchased mostly. See all these things if I am unable to uncover and if I am unable to find out as a CEO of the company means uh, even I am having 10 millions of rows of the data also that is of waste. So that's why I need to explore my data. I should be able to present my data in a beautiful dashboards here. So here uh, this approach it has resonated with uh, many business users who are looking for the freedom and flexibility uh, to view the big data here. To view that big data they need a lot of freedom and flexibility here. So um, many business BI intelligence tools are there actually if you want to say we are having the first tool is the Informatica is there, Tableau, ClickTech, ClickSense, Oracle BI is there and um, um, Power BI is there. The latest one is the Power BI where uh, all these uh, multiple tools are there. Joho Analytics is there. So a lot of varieties of tools are there in the market where we can design our dashboards in a very beautiful manner here. But uh, here they discussed only about these two um, BI things uh, like uh, Tableau and as well as the ClickTech. Only these two they have discussed here. So we will also discuss these two things only. And both the companies approach to the market in a much different than the traditional BI software vendors. So how they approach it is they grew that sales model they have referred to as the land and expand. So what is that landing and expanding means here? So data has to be landed in your tool and as well as we need to be able to expand that particular data here in the form of some dashboards. And here with the help of these two things we can perform the analytics and reporting here by using the that particular results see what the it people will do it people just they will provide you the best infrastructure here but these business people they should be able to create uh, their own reports and the dashboards they should be able to uh, create their own reports and the dashboards here and uh, one more thing what is the important characteristics here means uh, rapid fire bi is there uh, where uh, uh, the business users not the specialized developers uh, they are going to drive the applications here how they are going to drive the applications means again with the help of these business intelligence tools here and the result is that everyone wins how everyone wins wins here suppose if the ceo as a ceo of the company if i am going to win means so the customer will also wins if the customer win wins the ceo will wins it is nothing but a win-win scenario so users can serve themselves, they can serve the serve themselves uh, the data and the reports whenever they need, uh, they can generate the reports, they can uh, see the data insights what is happening. And the traditional practice of trying to anticipate the 
analytic needs of each employee is impossible here that means previously the in the very olden days we, are, we don't have such type of analysis and all just we, we use it to maintain the data in the form of the manual process approach only we don't know which employee is doing the best which employee is doing the worst who is uh, doing the more number of sales and all we don't know actually in the in the traditional practicing uh, we don't have such type of analysis reports can the IT department really read the minds of the business users? Will really it will happen? They can they are able to read the business users mindset? No, definitely it is not like that. But they are going to give you the business intelligence dashboards in the way how your CEO wants. Today, I need the people. I want to know uh, how many sales were done in the March month. Means what I will do? I will have some um, Power BI tool or else Tableau tool. I will use any of my BI tool and uh, I will be presenting my data in which month, which product was the highest sales here. So that the same thing I am going to present to my CEO also. So that's how I am going to work to my CEO here. So in whatever the question he is going to get into his mind here, that query I am going to present in the form of a beautiful dashboard. And uh, the example of the powerful visualization uh, means uh, see how the company uses the interactive dashboards uh, to track the critical metrics which is going to drive the business here. And uh, every day what the CEOs will do, the CEOs and the other company executives, so they want to see the real time uh, how the markets are uh, producing in terms of sales and profit. They want to know how the sales and uh, profits are going to come. And uh, what service quality scores look like, uh, advertisements, investments, that means uh, they are going to do lot of investments on the advertisements. They want to know how much is invested for the advertisements and how much amount they are going to generate it here. And how the products are performing in terms of revenues and profit here. And the interactivity is a key here. What is that interactivity? The users can be able to interact with those beautiful dashboards. And you click on any filter lets the executive look into the specific markets or the products here. And that means each and every he or she, they can be able to click on any one data point. They can hover their mouse and they can view and they can show the related data in the other views here. And hovering on one data point, sometimes we can get the unusual patterns or outliers. I may get the outliers also by showing the details on demand here. And she can click through the underlying information in a split seconds. So that's how our uh, powerful visualization can be done with the help of the Tableau team here. And, then, <coughs> and uh, these are the sample uh, dashboards uh, which can be done with the help of the Tableau here. This is a completely region wise information I am going to show it here. And this is like one bar chart. And these uh, dashboards are completely related to the COVID-19 cases here. Uh, how many number of employees got uh, confirmed cases and how many are at risk. All this analysis we have represented in the form of a beautiful uh, dashboards here. This one simple example. And this is the another simple example of your uh, dashboards again. And uh, this is one more example. How beautifully we are going to show our uh, analysis and reports means so that we can easily understand where we got the highest and where we are at the lowest and for which product we got the highest one and which one is not uh, doing better. All these things can be analyzed in a correct manner here and this is called as a donut chart how the donut chart can be represented means this is the way how the donut chart can be represented and these are completely the map wise information wherever we are getting that a bold kind of thing means we can identify that this particular area is doing a very better compared to the other areas here and uh, finally what we want to say here means uh, i'm having lot of data but i'm going to work according to my CEO's mindset that means it will this BI it will completely works according to the mindset of the users. So that's all for today guys.